Yeah, welcome back, dear um, students, okay? Um, we want to continue from where we stopped in our certificate practical video. And this is where we stopped. Now, we want to look at the reference now. And from the reference, which is this, we want to go ahead and create this gradient shape here and also this other one here, okay? We also want to create this black shade behind it and this one behind it. We want to insert this logo, this badge and the logo, okay? And let's see how far we can go to make the video as short as possible. So let's just begin. So first things first, we go to our insert, we go to shapes, and we choose our um, freeform shape. Left click on it. Now just come around this place. Let the center of the cross be around here, okay? just a bit above this place around here left click once drag it to this place to this middle point here left click once drag it to around here okay maybe around where this bottom part of the left side okay or you can put it down just a bit lower left click once and take it to where you started from and left click and you can see that it has created the shape now the next thing we want to do is change the color to this gradient color here so Make sure you are highlighted on the shape. Go to shape fill. Then go to gradient. Go to more gradients. And let's change the color. So leave this at linear. 90 degrees is okay for now. Now, let's come to this first node. Change the color to something like brown. Something like this brown, accent 4. Left click on it. Left click on this second node. And change it to the one just above the dark accent 4. That is lighter. 40%, accent 4, lighter, 40%. Left click on it and press OK. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it looks like this. Let's see what we can do to work on it more. Let's go to shape outline and choose no outline. Now let's go back to the um, um, shape fill go back to gradient more gradient and let's see if we can change this angle to make this white show more and this this black show more let's see how, what changing the angle will do to it so let's say i change it to 150 and i press ok okay you can see what it has done here is lighter while here is darker so let me go back to the gradient, more gradient. And since it's 150 now, I want to reverse it. Yes, I want this from this dark shade to this light shade. 
So go to direction and left click here and press OK. You can see that it's from this dark shade to this light shade. This is what we are looking for. Now, having done this, all we need to do is to duplicate this shape. Okay. Now, right click, select the shape, right click on it, left click on copy, right click, and left click on paste. Okay. Now, take the new shape you just pasted this way. Okay. Come to this option that says rotate, left click on it, and choose flip horizontal. You can see that it has flipped it the other way. Left click and drag it to fit here. Okay. Then just drag it, draw it down, let it touch here. You see what we've just done? Now, the next thing we want to do is put the badge. So you left click on insert, left click on pictures. Okay. Now you need to go to the folder where those pictures are located. You will know the folder where the pictures are located. Okay. So I'm going to my folder where I put those pictures. So I go to my desktop. Um, I'm going to locate where my pictures are now. Now look at what I want to insert. So I left click here and left click on insert. Now this badge is inserted. I come to this place and reduce it a bit. Keep reducing it. Please reduce it diagonally so that it maintains the shape, the proportion of the shape. Then move it this way. Let's reduce it a bit more. Move it this way, like this, okay? Then the same way we go to insert, pictures and we insert the laurel logo it will be in your folder these pictures you can double left click quickly to insert it then just as we reduced it just reduce it reduce it reduce it and then go inside inside the shape once this cross thing shows, left click and hold your mouse to drag it and place it inside. Let me zoom in more. So, place it inside. So, yes, we've just created this. We'll stop here for now. In the next video, we'll continue from where we start.